Good afternoon or morning. This is Luke here from Boatship Brighton Yacht Brokers here to show you today this lovely Regal 2700 and I'm going to start on the swim platform at the stern and I'll give you a tour of what she might look like. So we're going to start here as mentioned in the starboard aft of the swim platform and what I'm going to do is show you here uh, where you might like to fill her up. So we've got uh, fuel on the starboard side there and on the left we've got where we fill her up with water and here we have our point for any water toys that we might like to tow so we can put the rope on there to tow our inflatables rubber rings or whatever it is that we're taking this boat out on might be wakeboarding off the back of here so if we move to the port we can see our septic or waste tank uh, point there we've got the electrics here and we've also got her deck wash or deck uh, or swim platform shower hose for on those lovely warm days where you go in the water you have a nice swim and you want to finish by washing yourself down so you can see here really nice size swim platform and we've got our swim ladder on the starboard side there that bolts away into this section here. Uh, lovely cleats that do pop in when you don't need them. What I'm gonna do is turn you around and look forward. So what we can do here is set it up so that we can have an additional seat in the center here. And I'll show you just how quick and easy that is to do. So starboard off, we're lifting this up port aft we lift this one up too and then we can fold out this additional cushion like so there's two cushions stored away here in the port side which we take out with one hand which doesn't make my life any easier shut these two up and then we've got two cushions that go up here so one as you'll see very nicely clips into place there and this one will go here for you to sit on so what we've done is we've extended our our seating area here created a nice space to the aft where you could lounge obviously i do need to push this cushion in a little bit <sighs> my ocd was making me think that looked quite odd sticking out and you just get a slight feel here for the amount of space that you have on board on those beautiful sunny days to be out on the water. So I'm gonna take these off so that I can get forward. And you'll see how quick and easy it is to put it away. That very simply folds over, this folds down, and these two cushions go back in their home like so and that's with my left hand I'm right-handed so there we are now we're gonna go into her co cockpit so I'll start port side so you can see here lovely space and actually what goes through the whole boat is these cup holders and grab rails so you know when you're out there riding those waves or now out on a nice day cruising along, you've got something nice to hold on to there. Cup holders and stereo speakers, which actually go through the whole of the boat um, all the way forward. So I, I, I'll show you that as, as we do go forward. And then if we look starboard, again, we have currently stowed away the rope here. So if I take that away, you can see two more cup holders to starboard, another stereo speaker and the lovely seats. Now, one thing this boat has is absolutely plenty of stowage. So you can see here on the starboard side, we've got our call box. And if I move around to port, you can lift this up. We have a lovely locker in here where you can see currently stowed away is the cockpit table. 
And then we've got our battery on off switch down here and a manual bilge pump, but lots of stowage. Also got our fuse box in there. Plenty of space for whatever you're taking out on those lovely days at sea. Now I'll show you here in, in our deck, we've got a nice anti-slip mat in there and more stowage. Possibly you could get some of your fenders away in there. Uh, you've got a cool box and a fridge on board, but you never know, you might want to put a few more, a few more drinks or as that would be a nice cool area, maybe put some additional food or, or drink items down there. So looking port here, we've got our fridge, our sink, and a nice worktop here to, to prepare any food or drinks that you, you're taking out. Here we've got our, our stereo system. And then to starboard, we have a cool box. Another area to keep drinks nice and cool. And as I mentioned, loads of storage, lots more storage in here, and that goes really deep as well. So looking to our port side here, we've got our, our co-pilot seat. And we've got another storage area in here. We can probably put nav charts, etc., in there. And then, as I mentioned, it goes through the whole boat here. So we've got cup holder and stereo speaker, bolster cushion here so you can sit up higher. Lovely footrest down there as well for your co-pilot. Now, looking on the port side, you almost wouldn't notice it unless someone told you it was there. We can actually open this companionway here, which opens out into our lovely head or sea toilet here. So nice compartment, you'll see behind there, there's more storage behind the toilet. Lovely flooring in here. Um, and you've got your uh, electrics there for the holding tank pump. That clicks into place, lovely. Now looking starboard, we have our helm position. Again, with the bolster pillow. So, you know, if I was out at sea, I would have the, the seat as it is now. If I was mooring up, I'd most probably have the bolster up there. So I'm in a much higher position. I can see the bow of the boat better, got better visibility around the boat uh, and it will help me more up easier. Looking down here, we have another cup holder and another stereo speaker. And it does look like we have some floor lighting there. Now it's a sunny day, so I haven't, I haven't needed to use that today. And then we have our helm position here to starboard with compass there. All the engine information that we will require went out at sea. So we've got our fuel, oil levels, engine temperature, uh, battery, battery information there. So we've got a voltmeter on the battery. We've got the engine hours, which is currently sat at 509.8. Our revs per, per minute, also our miles an hour, kilometers an hour. So showing our speed there. And then on the right hand side, we've got our trim to show the trim angle of the sea leg or the leg on this boat. Uh, to the starboard side or right hand side here, we've got the uh, bow down or bow up, which is our trim tab controls. And actually on the, on the helm here, on the steering wheel, you can see that there is uh, volume controls for the speaker and seat so you can change the radio station when you're listening to music on board. Now, if we look at the floors here, you'll notice there is another bit of storage, much deeper this one. This really is quite deep um, and it goes forward. You can see here we've got a large fender as well as a fender, a dock fender. Um, we've got a, a scrubbing brush in there, etc., etc. So again, um, probably a cooler area to store things if you do need anything cool. Um, and then to starboard side here, we have a lovely locker again. Now looking forward, we've got another companion way here, which we can we can fold out um, this door here if, if need be. And we can also fold that away, open this lovely area up. When you're packing the boat away, you will be you know, putting the cover back on and, and putting this um, back down the, the window here. But that opens out lovely. So when you are out at sea, you can open this area up and what a lovely space it is to the on the bow here. 
you'll see both port and starboard two more cup holders each side as well as two more stereo speakers up here um, and it does look like we've got some more floor lighting down there also so another lovely space we've got some cushions up here um, to the aft of the bow where we can you know have a real nice lounging space up here and as i did mention plenty of storage on board i can open up both port and starboard lockers here underneath the seating and again very deep lockers here or storage for you to put anything away out of the way now i'm going to move forward where we can see another so the second swim ladder here in the anchor locker and what that's for is those days where you might want to go up onto the beach so if you're going onto the beach and actually you want to step out directly onto the beach from the boat from the bow of the boat that ladder will allow you to do so now in here we've got the anchor locker where we've got a claw anchor and some chain and warp on there closing that and you'll see here we've got more cleats um, these are pop-up cleats so you pull them up when you need them or they look, go away and look quite smart when you don't need them what I'm going to do now is turn us round and we can finish by looking aft so you can see what this space might look like from the front of this lovely Regal 2700. Thank you very much for watching. Please go to boatshipbrighton.com for many more pictures and videos. Many thanks.